and we're live. Well, you ever get constipated and your grandma's nowhere near to finger, <laughs> <laughs> to finger, we out, all? That, to finger <laughs> out that hard, obstructive turd? Well, there's a new solution discovered by a somewhat innovative man in the Guangzhou province of China. He, it's actually, he didn't innovate this. I just read through the article. This is a, a somewhat, you know, tried and true practice, I guess, in that area of oh, China. Yes. Uh, you put an eel up your asshole to cure constipation. Mm -hmm. And this gentleman uh, put a 50 centimeter, 50 centimeter, a long eel in his ass and it swam through his bowels as owls are, or owls, as eels are one to do and started like eating away at his stomach to be, until to be, he was to be all- clear, To be clear, it, it ate through the intestine and continued on within his body cavity. It sounds yes, better it than keto in terms of weight loss. And and the way that they, it's written in the article makes it seem like the guy showed up and was like, oh, my stomach. And they're like, what's wrong? He's like, it could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then they well, like, yeah, got him into I surgery. I ate just a bad Coca Cola chicken last night. And I also shove an eel in my ass. <laughs> yes, no, but he didn't tell him. He just got down there and they're like, oh my God, they cut it open. They find, they find a, a 50 centimeter eel in his stomach cavity just swimming around. And he has to, like, what do you even uh, I uh, knew that I undercooked this something. Except that shift. But good God, that is just, I don't, I don't understand how it could cure your, your constipation because you're just oh, adding something Of course something it would. Else. I'm gonna break up the poop. It's swimming yeah. up in there, breaking everything, like 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 making space between your intestine and the poop. Maybe like it's so the poop doesn't grab. If I used it. earthworms, would they eat the poop and then poop out no. the poop? No, no. That, no. That's, that's why they use an tapeworm. How do you know this requires a test? That's why they well, use liquid, uh, whatever they're called. What the fuck is it called? Enemas. That's why they use enemas that are liquid. You wouldn't want to squirt a solid up there because it wouldn't help. Oh, the, it, it, there's a difference between a solid. And a solid creature who's going to up his own volition <laughs> swim around inside of you and do a little work. Like, this is like sending nature's miner up into that asshole to, to, to do a little bit of God's work in there and clean things up. I, I, this is very holistic. Uh, I noticed there's no electronics involved with this, no electromagnetism, mm, uh, which, which causes cancer, quite frankly. Most, that, that, that's, that's what's causing all the cancer we have. It's, it's all of the, uh, the medical techniques that are now employed by modern medicine if we went back to the old tried and true eel up the ass method which cures virtually every disease we'd be a much much healthier society and more in tune with nature why wouldn't you like this is even if this did work why wouldn't you at least like take a string or a rubber band or some floss <laughs> and tie it around the head of the eel and so that it doesn't get stuck in your ass and then make sure that the head of the eel is always kept out. there's nothing you're like Almost there, <laughs> and you just get a collar and a lead. Oh no! <laughs> but they just pulling it out like a magician with all those kerchiefs you know, right out of your ass. No, that I don't know. It's just if I were, if someone said, "Hey, you have to shove this eel up your ass, but you can do it any way you want," I'd be like, "All right, we're gonna get that thing's head under control because that's not coming anywhere near. We're gonna go tail first, and we're gonna make sure that there is some sort of clamp or vice, making sure that it doesn't go puzzle." Yeah, and slide right up in there. You'd make sure that it's coming right back out afterward. This guy, if you're going to do something like this, take a little bit of care. Like, I feel like you should just muzzle the face and then let it swim up. It needs its mouth to bite through the food, but the turds. I just need the turds broken up. Well, he's 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 going to do what he can, but sometimes <laughs> he's got to just have the turd. Like, <laughs> just just have just like a cup of head, but all those turds in there with his soft <laughs> eel head, Woody. He needs his mouth. I, you know what? He could have just drank. Don't handicap him. He could don't have cut drank. him off his eel knees. Well, but but right I don't want him to swim, bite through my intestines and go find. I just imagine this other eel stuff. Like, like, like testing, like the, the the eels form a union. Like, don't you shove me up your ass and cut me off the knees at the same time? Uh, <laughs> Send me in there with my teeth. So that's how they them. start, I mean, but they trick you. Then all of a sudden, they're poking out of your scrotum. Uh, oh. This or a, a, a cup of black coffee. You know, those are your choices. <laughs> you can have, and then, oh, maybe if you're like, you know, at that point, if you've really got to shit that bad, start smoking cigarettes, start drinking so much coffee, start taking laxatives. Like, there are so many steps that need to be taken before live eels are introduced into the pooping realm. 
you know? watched the, uh, the, 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 the late, I'm up to date on Better Call Saul. And uh, you're right, Woody, some stuff happened. And it was so satisfying when mm-hmm. it happened. It's what I've been waiting on for so long because that whole situation with him and his brother was, is very annoying. And it's, it, it, and you know, you want someone to just like slap this old man around and be like, but this brother's crazy. not without a point, right? Like Jimmy, slick Jimmy, Saul, he's not a perfect person. But I, I feel like his brother's not on his team, and it, it's a very complicated situation, and they present it fantastically. I'm definitely on Saul's side. Um, his brother is holding that shit against him from when they were children, and he thinks that Jimmy was stealing from the register. But really, the situation was, if you remember, Jimmy had realized that his father was just a fool, just an absolute fool, and, and was always going to be taken advantage of by someone. And he was like, well, I might as well take a dollar if, he, if this guy is such a, a, you know, a fool born... A, they say a fool's born every day, but this guy is a fool every day. And, and, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to deal with it anymore. And, his, and he, he was still like holding on to that in those court proceedings. But yeah, I love their little, the trickery he pulled, the, the little mm-hmm. Matlock moment there at the end. And it was even great because his brother was like, uh, you probably thought that like bringing my ex-wife here was going to throw me all off and I was going to fall apart here on the stand. Well, do you have anything else, Jim? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I do. I'm going to tear you apart now and ruin your life. <laughs> and, and, and it, of course, goes back to like three episodes ago when Jimmy's out there smoking on the curb, waiting on the cops to come arrest him. And he's like, they're going to come for you and take you away and put you in a hospital. And I'm going to watch. <laughs> that's all he says, like smoking a cigarette. And you're like, yeah, that's what's fucking coming, you cunt. Like, I, I'm looking forward to that. I hope that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Take him away. Yeah. Take him away. Dude, it's so heavy. And I love that we're overlapping with the Breaking Bad timeline now. So you see like how things got together. Better Call Saul has taken three and a half years to get good. And it's good now. Not, Where not, are you guys watching it? Like uh, what app? I purchased it. $3. Oh, I got like Amazon? Or... Uh, Probably I've got I've got like everything there is to have. And so like I, I have this thing where I can click and it'll show me like the cheapest ways to buy it. And there's usually like three or four. And I always just pick whatever's cheapest. So it could be anything. Well, I need to start watching this. That's season, what I do. Too. You're making it sound really good. <laughs> yeah, I figured you did that, Woody. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I look at all the sources and I find the lowest price I can. I find, find the, find, the one know, with the, the most peers also sharing. <laughs> and <laughs> and I never seed because I'm an asshole. You know? <laughs> uh, or uh, unless you're on someone else's internet, of course. Then just yeah. everything. <laughs> I um. I lost my train of thought, but yeah, Better Call Saul got good. I'm enjoying Veep. That took a, a fun turn. Uh, Silicon Valley has taken a fun turn. Haven't started Archer, and there's another one that's cooking right now that I haven't started. Boo either. to Archer. Boo to Archer, huh? Boo now, to Archer. The thing is, I've liked seasons Taylor in particular that Taylor didn't like. I've liked all the seasons up until now, and I uh-huh. find it to be pugnant by its very nature. I love um, the cocaine season. I loved it too. I, 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 even though it was a bit repetitive, I liked, you know, the the hot Pam. I liked her cocaine. I loved body hot cast. Pam. Her getting all fucking crazy in the cocaine body cast. This season, I think I already said, but you know, it's Archer's in a coma, and all of the events of this season of the season take place in his head in a dream sequence. Like we're at season four, we're at episode four and five, like halfway through the whole final season of Archer, the way I understand it. Where did and none of it. Had, and none of this counts. It's all so maybe Archer, Archer dies at the end of this. Yeah, maybe Archer dies at the end. Yeah, and I won't fucking care because they wasted his last season. Hmm. Right. It's they, shit. I really they took did, I Bob's really Burgers care. off Netflix and then only put season two back, which Bizarre. is a bummer. My son loves Bob's Burgers, so we're kind of like, ah, it sucks. It does yeah. suck. I like the Bob's Burgers too. Head on, head on over to the bay for that. Yeah, I will look around for the lowest prices. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> click that button that shows you the lowest price. It'll say yeah. zero at the bottom. Usually there's one, one site in particular that's hard to beat. <laughs> Usually the issue isn't even price. It's just how long it takes. <laughs> it's just a matter of speed. <laughs> uh, yeah.